Hello, let's do a word problem which relates arc length, radius and angle, okay? This problem I've picked up from a test paper, okay? Now, this is a very, very important and interesting problem. Let's go through it. It says, Uday wishes to cut his birthday cake, which is circular and has diameter of 30 centimeter. If his slice is in the shape of a sector, with arc length 8 cm, what is the measure of central angle of the slice in degrees, rounded to two decimal places? Okay, so let's first try to understand what the problem is. It's kind of like this. Let's sketch a diagram. We have a circular cake, okay? Wishes to cut his circular cake in diameter of 30 centimeters in 8 slices. So, so that means we have 8 slices, okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we have 8 slices. Has a diameter of 30 centimeter, okay. So diameter is 30 centimeters. So from here to here, it is 30 centimeters. Therefore, the radius should be how much? Radius will be half of 30. So, we'll say radius is 15 centimeter. Okay. Okay. From here to here is 15 centimeter. If a slice is in the shape of a sector with arc length 8 centimeter. Arc length is this length. Arc length. This arc length is 8 centimeter. Okay. What is the measure of the central angle? Central angle is the angle subtended by the arc, so this angle theta, this angle, from this arc, do you understand? And that is one sector we are talking about. So we have to find this angle in degrees, rounded to two decimal places. Okay, so that's our problem. Now, how to solve it? So what, we remember our triangle? How is arc length related with radius? You remember speed distance relationship and time, same way. So A, let's say this is A, arc length. So A is on the top and then we have R theta. So what is the relation between them? We have A equals to R theta, correct? But what do we want to find here? We want to find theta. So theta is equals to what? Theta is A over R, okay? So theta is, oh, I wrote A. Okay, A over R is equal to theta. Does it make sense? So theta is A over R. This is what we need. It looks very simple, right? We know A is 8 and R is 15. Correct? Yeah. So theta is 8 over 15. But you know what this theta is? In which units it is? The unit of this theta is in radians. Don't forget. When we use this a equals to r theta, theta is in radians. So here, theta is in radians, not in degrees. So the catch here in this problem is that we want angle in degrees. Okay, degrees, not radians. That's the difficulty. Students have seen, they just find this ratio, leave it, round it to two decimal places, and they think the question has been answered. Now it is not. So, now you know it. Theta is in radius. So let's find this theta first. So we say theta equals to, again I wrote a, I don't know, theta equals to a divided by r. Let me write again and like this. Theta equals to a is how much? 8. So let's 8 divided by r, which is 15, right? How did we get 15? Half of 30, right? Diameter is 30. Therefore, radius is 15, correct? So let's find this 8 divided by 15. Or we will do this calculation later. Don't worry. But what is the unit for this? Theta is in radians, not in degrees. Now, what we should do? We should convert radians to degrees. How to convert radians to degree? Do you remember? You know, one full circle is 360 degrees and 2 pi radians, correct? So we have relation saying, 2 pi radians is equals to 360 degrees. That means pi radians is equals to 180 degrees. If I don't write anything, it means radians. Radians really is not a unit, kind of, right? We say radius. Why? You can see here. 
what was this? 8 centimeter, right? Let me write centimeter for you. And then 15 centimeter. What happened? Centimeter, centimeter got cancelled, right? So no units left. It's a ratio, okay? It's a number. So, so this pi is 180 degrees. How much is one? One radian. This pi radians is this. So one radian is how much? One radian is 180 degree divided by pi. Now we want to know 8 by 15 radians are how much? So we will write now 8 by 15 radians is equals to let's see 8 over 15 radians is equals to 180 divided by pi times 8 over 15. And we will calculate this now using our calculator right and now we have 180 divided by pi equals to 57.2957 and we'll multiply this by 8 equals to something and then we'll divide it by 15 and we'll get our answer which is 30.5577 so let me write this is 30.55 7 we have to round to two decimal places so now we can round this answer to two decimal places which will be 30.56 and what is this this is degrees don't forget the unit here okay so what is the measure of central angle of the slice angle central angle will measure 30.56 degree don't forget to write your answer clearly Okay, so we write down answer as 30.56 central angle equals to 30.56 degrees. Do you understand? So, read the problem carefully and note how we did it. We first said, well, diameter is 30 centimeter. We said, we'll use this straight pen again. We say diameter equals to 30 centimeter right so radius equals to 30 divided by 2 15 so we got this 15 here 8 arc is already given to us and now we know our triangle arc length equals to radius times theta and theta is arc length divided by radius so given 8 and 15 we got the value of theta but this value was in radians since we want the answer in degrees, we converted radians by multiplying it by 180 by pi, correct? To get degrees. This is degrees, so I will write degrees here, okay? And we get this degrees. Do you understand? And then we rounded our answer to two decimal places and wrote it clearly down, okay? I hope you understand how to solve this problem. Thank you.